couple of centuries ago, a bloke by the name of Captain James Cook put what we now know as Queensland on the map. Now, one of his fellow countrymen has decided to follow in his wake. There he goes now, in training for what they're calling the best expedition in the world. We'll catch up with him after the break. See you shortly. On a coral cay northeast of Bundaberg at the Lady Elliot Island Eco Resort, best job in the world winner Ben Southall is in training for the kayak trip of his life. He spent the last year as a Tourism Queensland ambassador, and in that time, he's been plotting a voyage of discovery along the Great Barrier Reef. Well, this will be no mean feat. Over four months and 1,600 kilometres, Ben will start this odyssey at a little town called 1770, which is just over my left shoulder, about 80 kilometres that way on the mainland. Going to head all the way to Cooktown. He'll start this journey in May, and we'll see what sort of state he's in by about September. So, mate, it's not a bad test track, the old lady Elliot. It's not, is it? The sun's out, the sky is there, nice and blue. And there's a little bit of swell, it's good fun. How's the craft holding up? It's good, it's nice to get on the water and have a little test of it in something that's a little bit, a bit different colour, a little bit different intensity than the Brisbane River. Ben's Hobie will be rigged to paddle, pedal and sail, and he'll have a decent sized support vessel accompanying him every nautical mile of the way. You've had some of the most amazing experiences for a young fellow in your life. You're a, a fervent traveller. Is this the most outrageous thing you think you've ever attempted? This is deemed without doubt the most outrageous thing I've ever done, I think. I've not done a lot of stuff on the water, but it was one of those elements. I've done mountains, I've done desert, so I thought it's just another one I've got to give a go to. You've heard the old saying, mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun? We've got about 20 minutes to go. And it's almost 12 o'clock, <laughs> mate. During his best expedition in the world, Ben will be taking plenty of time to look around each region at each stretch of the reef that he passes. A lot of that will happen below sea level. Well, we're about to see something that I suppose you're hoping you're not going to see when you're kayaking, and that is the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> well, I want to get in it as much as possible. That's the whole intention of the voyage. Yeah. I know you're a bit of an eco warrior. You, you, you love, uh, you know, the eco side of things, and, and that's what Peter Gash has done with this uh, development here at Lady Elliot. It's very eco-friendly, isn't it? It's a prime example of how, if you're looking after the long-term health of the Great Barrier Reef, you've got to start looking after the environment. So I guess having the best job in the world as, as caretaker of the Great Barrier Reef as you were for 12 months, you, you got certified, and... But you've dived all over the world, haven't you? I have, yeah. I've been lucky that I had, before the best job in the world, dived a fair bit. And then during the job as the island caretaker, probably 50 dives on different locations. And genuinely, being this close to the continental shelf, the furthest south of the Great Barrier Reef Islands, this is the one that stands out for me as the prime site. It really does, doesn't it? If the views underwater here are any indication, then Ben's in for a real treat. The resort offers snorkelling tours and beginner and advanced dives to dozens of locations and the manta rays are an international attraction. Now the fellows with the crazy marine boy scooters are Richard and Christoph from a company called Underwater Earth. Ben's asked them along on the expedition dives to record what it is he sees. Christoph, they've got a camera built into them, haven't they? They do indeed, yes. They do have a little HD camera that uh, we've custom uh, made for this particular scooter. So they, it's really embedded in the, the nose of the scooter. Yeah. And uh, we're just turning them on before we jump in the water and there you go. So <laughs> what is it that you guys are doing up here? What we're trying to show people is the uh, Great Barrier Reef is made up of so many different elements. Yeah. And each one's very, very different. So what we want to do is try and capture the essence of each one. So we've got a Frenchman, an Englishman and another Englishman yes. all promoting the wonderful things that we have here in Queensland. Well, we appreciate it coming from, from England. There's going to be days when it's going to be crazy, busy, filming, blogging the whole time, but there's going to be bits where you've got beaches like this, perfect locations, sit and watch the sun go down and absorb it, because that's what it's about. Well, that's right. In a way, this must be the reason for doing what you're doing. Yeah, it's, it's an adventure, it's a life experience, and that's exactly why I wanted to do it. Yeah. The finer details of Ben's best expedition in the world are online, and he'd love to have people join him for certain legs of the trip, so let him know if you're interested. There are many ways in to Lady Elliot Island Eco Resort, and several accommodation options once you get here. Whether it's for the turtles, the birds, snorkelling or the diving, you'll find that this place is a little piece of paradise. If you missed any of the details from tonight's show, you can log on to our website. While you're there, check out the Queensland Holidays 
RACQ and Queensland Rail Travel online. All the great resources for when you're planning your next trip away. Well, it does sound like you've thought of everything. People can follow you uh, on your journey via the blog and the website. Yep, absolutely. Good luck. I think probably going to need it at some <laughs> stage, Dean. I hope it goes well. Look, we'll be following your progress as well on Queensland Weekender. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for on today's show. I hope you've enjoyed it. Seven News is coming up in just a moment from now. Safi and the team from the Great South East are back tomorrow afternoon. Have a great week. See you next Saturday for more. Bye for now. Bye-bye.